hope you've been um, all doing the, or at least trying to do the right thing this week, keeping your losses contained, working on playing within your average loss from last week. Remember that exercise that I've encourage that you do not every week but on some weeks remember I've encouraged that you take all of your losing trades from the prior week right and then you add up all of those losing trades so let's say you had 18 losing trades these 18 losing trades amounted to, um, I don't know, $400. All of your losing trades amounted to $400, right? So now you're going to divide the $400 by 18 to get your average loss per trade, all right? And what you do from there is you set up a goal for, you set up a goal for, um, uh, you set up a goal for not losing more than that 18. Now these numbers are pretty low. So this should be something like maybe you lost 2000, 2000, maybe you lost nine hundred dollars for the week, All right? And then that would be something like, uh, you know, that comes out to fifty dollars average loss per trade. Now you take that number, right, and you go into next week with the goal of not exceeding that number. You don't really have to cut this number down. You just have to make this now your loss, your maximum loss per trade. Now you can't do this or nor should you do this every week. But every now and then this is a great exercise to do. To know what your average loss per trade was the following week. You can do that today, at the end of today. You can find out what this number is. Now this means that some trades are bigger than 50, some trades are less than 50, but this is your average. So if you take the average and make that the following week your max, not the average, you're going to have a lower average next week. You see? Now it's not 18 total trades, it's 18 losing trades. We're trying to focus on the losing trades. You don't have to cut it in half. You just have, this is cutting it in half. So you don't need to cut the 50 in half. The 50 is the half, right? So then you take this number and make it your max next week. Now, when you do this exercise, traders, you are not focused on winning. I know every trade is taken with the idea of it being a good trade, of course. But what I'm saying is that you make your goal not a winning goal that week. You make your goal just to do your trades as best as you can, but to make sure that the ones that don't work get cut off at 50 max or less. And if you do this, let's say you do this twice a month, it will be impossible for you not to improve. Impossible. The reason is because it's largely, not one in 100%, but it's largely you're losing trades that are camouflaging, holding back your wins. 
And so by focusing on keeping them a bit more contained will automatically reveal more PL. All right. So if your PL, if your profits are like this, right? But your losses are like that. Your losses are camouflaging part of your gains, you see? So we have to chop this down to reveal more wins, you see? Chop it down, it might look like something like that. And now more P&L. I did that wrong, probably. Let's do it like that. Let's not make it so big, but so more PL is showing because you chopped this down. Okay. So you can't you can't do this every week, but you can do it twice a month, once a month. And it's a great exercise to keep moving yourself forward. So that, for instance, if you were to do this exercise going into next week, you're going to get that number today. At the end of trading today, you're going to find that number. You're going to go to sleep with that number Saturday and Sunday, tonight, Saturday, Sunday. You're going to wake up with that number on Monday. That number on Monday is going to be the most important number of your life next week. So that now your focus is, I don't really care as much as if this trade that I'm taking is going to be a win or loss. What I care about is this number. If this trade doesn't work, I will not let it go past my number. And so successes are not the wins next week. Successes are the losers that you contain. And so you flip the model a bit. You flip it to focus on how you fall versus how you rise, which far too many traders focus on. Everyone's trying to focus on the stars without first taking care of the rocks below. 